sorry yeah. okay i just want to make sure that every one of you has actually access to a computer a laptop or the desktop uh, because uh, there will be some hands-on practice and then i need all of you to also download the uh, v360 raw files that i have actually put up in the google drive link Okay, if you have not done so, maybe along the way, but uh, later on we can do so. But I will probably also need all of you to turn on your cameras so that uh, I can also see all of you. And then if you have any questions later on through the process itself, uh, everyone can contribute and then uh, ask the questions so everyone can learn together. Okay, I'm not the subject matter expert of virtual tour to be to put out a disclaimer first. Okay, but then uh, I have done quite a fair bit of uh, virtual tour stitching up, uh, done quite a fair bit of uh, virtual tour viewing. So I'm just here today to share my experience with what I have done. Okay, and as we all know, uh, we are in phase two. Uh, so uh, viewing wise, especially for those units that's uh, owner occupied, is going to be a challenge where we can only have two uh, visitors per day for the viewing for the household and that two person is actually inclusive of the agent ourselves All right okay uh let me drag out my screen first okay quick check everyone can see the slides i'm sharing okay uh like I said, this is actually a very uh, short session, more towards targeting, more towards a uh, hands-on practice. All right. So I'm just very going to go through very quickly on what virtual tour is, what V360 and all those things is. And then uh, you all can actually realize how fortunate we are with AAG that we have this uh, V tour that Lester has actually given to all of us for free. All right. So uh, main thing about the learning outcomes today, I hope that after today, all of you will actually have these skill sets, meaning how do you actually upload panel onto the V2 creation, uh, I'll say not software, but a website. Okay, what is panel? Panel, it basically means the raw file of the V of the 360, the 360 degrees pictures. And then also, also to stitch these panels together to create that virtual tour okay to become a proper virtual tour itself because a picture itself by itself is only a picture that shows 360 but if we can actually stitch them up together it will become like a walkthrough virtual tour all right and of, of course after creating them then we need to know how do we actually share our virtual tour right i mean i'm sure most of you if you all have uh, visited property guru advertisement some of the agents actually share the virtual tour on their uh, property guru listing how do we actually do that so i will cover that as well All right so far so good so just a quick one a uh, virtual tour is simply a home tour done on a virtual basis whereby the 360 degree pictures of the property are taken and put together to create a home tour as simple as that huh? okay so uh what how it benefits especially during this period of time whereby we cannot have so many viewings per day so it actually reduces a lot of time wastage it actually allows us to actually screen through the prospective buyers or tenants by showing them this virtual tour online before we drive down take the transport down and then to realize that it doesn't match the facing not correct the color the layout everything that is not correct and then we take a we, we drive back again imagine if you're staying in Tampines and you're going to Jurong for that viewing so that is actually very frustrating or oh, especially and also for uh, units that are on sale that are tenanted we all know that uh, to view a unit that is actually tenanted out can be quite a challenge. Uh. We need to manage the situation. So having this virtual tour to actually do some form of a qualification of your prospects will actually be very, very helpful. In fact, during last year's circuit breaker itself, uh, using the virtual tour itself, I have actually managed to close a number of renters. 
because everyone cannot go anywhere. So, so they all rely on the virtual tour. So it is actually really very helpful. If we were to actually engage an external vendors uh, to actually do our virtual tour, just for your information, there are vendors out there who provide such a service. Uh. Uh, the cost for each virtual tour done easily range from $120 upwards and even to over $300. Over dollars. Of course, the more expensive it is, the more professionally it is done. I'm not sure anyone out there actually heard of this company called Metaport. Right, they actually provide very, very good uh, virtual tours. And then also they do up some, uh, what we call a dollhouse. So that, that's the fancy full part of the whole thing. But uh, being practical, I think uh, what we are more interested in is to actually screen through the buyers or the prospects more effectively. We don't need such fancy full style of uh, virtual tours to begin with. I think that is more towards impressing uh, or to do prospecting for owners to to impress owners that they are they are they are actually using such so called channels to attract buyers, right? And then also when we are actually uh, engaging external vendors for such services, right? There is actually uh, the hosting of this virtual tour is usually for a three period of three months or upwards, depending on the cost. Maybe some of you would have a. Uh, uh, receive SMS from vendors on the services, right? So uh, this is actually the cost itself and the validity period, which is only for three months. If you do need a reshoot and all those things, then of course it becomes another set of costs. So in order to do the virtual tour, what do we need in terms of equipment <clears throat> as an AAG agent? Okay, very simple. We need a 360 degrees camera. We need a tripod or a lollipop stand to, to square by. We can actually uh, mount the camera onto this tripod and lollipop. And then we need a smartphone that can actually connect to your 360 degrees camera. Okay, it's so simple. I sh I'm sure every one of you have your own smartphone, right? All right. Then a tripod or a lollipop, you can actually get it out uh, in the shopping mall for less than $20. If you, uh, if you actually find them on Taobao or Carousel, I think you can even get them cheaper. Oh. And 360 degrees camera, I think is the only one that is slightly more costly, but then it is still very affordable. Why I say so? This, uh, these three are the typical 360 cameras that uh, we are using. Okay, a more common one is actually Ricoh Tita. Ricoh Tita, there are multiple versions and the cheapest version is actually from about $400 upwards. Okay, uh, the latest version, if I'm not wrong, is Tita Z. Uh, uh, during the AAG, the, the, the gear, gear, up gear, that, that conference that uh, we had, remember? Uh, our lady boss sponsored a uh, Tita Z for the lucky draw. That one is about $1,400 retail price. Okay, these are the brand new prices that I'm talking about. So if let's say, if you go to Carousel, you look for some uh, use before units, I think you can actually get something cheaper. This is the one that I'm actually currently using, Samsung Gear 360. Okay, uh, it is actually not available re on retail. It is a uh, resale. I, I got mine as a resale unit. Hundred. I think I got it for ninety nine dollars on the carousel. Why? Why so cheap? Because this was actually a freebie item provided by Samsung when I think they are they when when they bought some tablet uh, or some smartphones. It comes along with it as a free gift. So there's no retail price, but I got mine at ninety nine. Last check, I think. There are one or two units available for sale on Carousel. So you all may want to look into this because for $100 uh, to be able to do your own virtual tour, to shoot your own virtual tour, I guess it's very much worth it. Lah. Huh? And then this is something also quite uh, affordable. While we CV60, about $200 on, on the retail market. I have all these costs up. Basically, uh, I did a check last night on Google, on Amazon, on Lazada and those. So I came up with 
these three sets, which is the most affordable ones. Lah. All right. So if you are interested, of course, uh, I'm not selling. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not marketing for them. <laughs> so if you all you can go and look look for them uh, online and then decide whether do you want to invest in this uh, uh, tools. Okay. Uh, to this session, I'm also not going to cover on how to shoot the uh, virtual tour. Okay. Shooting part, I think uh, there may be some tutorials coming up by AAG. Uh, Lester, I think, may be having a session on how uh, the considerations, where to place your cameras and all those things uh, when you're shooting your virtual tour. So that one, I leave it to him, the guru himself. Okay, what I'm only, uh, what, what I am actually doing here today is uh, for those of you who are co-sharing, co-marketing certain listings, but you all have 360 uh, uh pictures but you all don't know how to stitch up the virtual tour okay this is my focus today now all of you actually can start to log in to your virtual tour account okay give me a thumbs up once all of you have done so can you all turn on camera or not All right, Claire, Ellen, Jaline. Once all has turned uh, logged in already, let me know, please. Ima, Neil, Mr. Liu, Jess, Jeff, all good, Linda, Ima. You go ahead first, I'm trying. General, I'm only listening. I'm driving on the road now. Okay, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I support, support. Uh. I might off my video. Uh. Okay, uh, the, like I say, this session uh, is more on hands-on practice because uh, if you realize quite there were actually quite a few lessons done by AAG uh, back then when we first port over to AAG. On how to create a virtual tour, I, I I see some faces that I I re, I remember that I attended the class together with them before. Okay, but if you don't practice, if you if you don't uh, after you go through the class, you don't practice, I think you may just forget on how to do the virtual tour itself. Oh, it's actually very very simple. That's why today I can actually uh, confidently say I can I can share with all of you how to do it. All right. Uh, Let's not uh, take too long on this. Okay, I assume that you all have already logged in the virtual tour account already. Eh? Now, for those of you who have not downloaded my V360 raw files, please uh, download now. I purposely created a QR code <laughs> for you all to download easily. I also haven't tried out this QR code. If cannot, let me know. <laughs> For your benefit, I will leave these files on, on my Google Drive for you all to practice. Uh, I think for the next two to three months, I will not remove. Okay. All good. I will proceed. Today is Friday, the happening day. So let's do complete everything fast. Now, a quick one. This is the layout, the floor plan of the virtual tour that we will be creating uh, for this session. Okay, this is one of my listing. It's at Waterfront Key, a two bedrooms, 904 square feet layout. Okay, so you can see the main door is actually here. 
the dining area, the living area, balcony, bedroom two, master bedroom. Sorry, interrupt for a while, Gerald. Are you hmm. sharing screen? I can't yes. see anything there. You guys can see or not? Yes. Ah, you can Very see. clear. Oh. Uh, see a button that I need to click. I are you on a desktop or are laptop. you on a laptop? laptop? Yeah. I don't know leh. Uh, I don't. I cannot see your screen, so I'm not so sure where are you now. I can see your your screen, the one that you're talking. Okay. I cannot see other sharing screen. I think you need to go to the view. Up up on the top right corner, I think there is some some buttons. Yeah. Okay. So you are on the gallery. Probably on gallery. I think you need to be on something. Okay, else. then side by side gallery. Ready is what oh, I side by on. side. Huh? Okay, okay, can see it. Can see it already. Thanks. Yep. Okay, thank mm. you. Okay, so this is the again. Uh, I I I recap. This is the layout of the virtual tour that we will be creating today. It's a two bedrooms unit at waterfront key. My personal listing, right? So again, the live the dining and the living here, main door here, balcony. Bedroom two, master bedroom. Very, very simple. I don't want to do a three-story house that uh, that will be very difficult to, to, to complete the, the trial later. Okay, important thing to take note is, uh, of course, this free version of the AAG that has given to us has certain limitations. Lah. Okay, the number of links that we can create uh, is actually pretty limited. So we need to plan out when we actually shoot our tour, how do we go about it? But let's not touch, touch on that right now. Okay, we are focusing on how to stitch up the virtual tour today when you have already the D360 raw pictures done. Eh? So this is actually where I actually position my cameras when I took my uh, raw pictures. Okay, number one, Number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So my files are also to make things very simple for this training. My files are named accordingly as well. You can see that my file name is also named, uh, also numbered. I also numbered them properly, such that when you are actually doing the, uh uploading and the stitching later, it will actually help a lot. Okay, now everyone is following. Huh? Okay, now I'm switching screen to my own virtual tour account now. Give me a second. Okay, uh, for those using laptop and desktop, is this what you are seeing? The Apex Achievers Group, Orange Team with Unfair Advantage, Panos Management, V Tour Management, and Add New V Tour. Is this something what you all are seeing? Can you all give a thumbs up if you are seeing this? Chua, can? Am I too fast? Linda, can you mark? Got the switch screen, so it is slow. No worries. We I will go slow today. I I I scheduled for two hours. Okay, it's not good. It's technically speaking, don't need to take more than two hours. I think one hour should be more than enough. But I'm prepared to go slow with all of you out there, one step by step. Can all good to go before I go to the next 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 uh, part. So you see three subheaders here. As the saying goes, uh, quite straightforward. Panos management. Let's go into panos management. 
So after I go into funnels management, this is the screen that I'm seeing. Everyone also have this. Okay, uh, I will proceed now. Uh. So in all, all of, I assuming all of you have already downloaded my tutorial files. You all have the so-called raw V360 pictures ready. So right now we need to upload them onto the V2 engine such that we can actually use them and then stitch them for the V2. All right. So I'm going to share with you how I upload my files Gerald, now. Your, what is hang, hang? Gerald, this sounds a bit uh, choppy. Okay, can. can. Okay. Uh, we start for, for this part. I'm at panels management now. So what I am going to do now is, go, is to upload all the raw files, the raw V360 files that I have taken into this so-called engine, such that later on, I can actually stitch them up together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to upload my raw files. I click on upload. Do you all get this screen now? So it is, uh, this itself is actually very primitive. We, I know a lot of new sites, everything, when we want to upload something, we can do a drag and drop. But this one, unfortunately, no. We need to upload one by one. Okay, so I let us all start uploading the files that I have actually sent out to all of you now. All right. Those who are done, let's wait. Those who are uh, uh, who have problem can actually uh, unmute yourself and then ask the question. I try my best to answer. See all I'm doing. I'm, I this is the folder that I have. I'm going to upload the file number one right now entrance so you see this is here i'm going to upload the second file also now i'm i'm in the process of selecting the files to upload so i can do five files at once number two the kitchen number three the living room number four the balcony Number five, walkway. All right, so files, five files already selected. I just need to click upload and wait for it to complete the uploading. is usually quite slow uh, because this I think this is running on a pretty primitive set of uh, so-called setup. So it's going to be a little bit slower. Okay, for those of you who have completed the uploading, you will see this screen. The file you submitted was successfully uploaded. File two successfully uploaded. File three successfully uploaded. Okay, so the five files I have selected earlier are successfully uploaded. So far, so good. Chua, okay. Alan, okay. Can follow? No, you're not ready yet. Never mind your proceed first. No problem, we wait. Yep, your yep, proceed first. Wait, wait. Never mind, I I I will see. You will see. At new okay, ma. Thomas, you're using handphone to try, right? Yes, I'm using handphone to try. 
Can similar, right? Just that the, the graphics looks a little bit more dif more different only, la, but the whole stats are the same. Yeah, I have a uh, successful upload already. Okay. Uh, Mr. Liu, are you going to try? Ma? Joyce, are you, are you with us also? Jeff? Sorry, I just I just listening for this moment because I, I did not prepare my laptop. Okay, can. Okay, I, I proceed to upload the rest of my raw files. Show of hands once all the nine files have been uploaded. Anyone? Not yet, not yet. Uh, file very slow. Okay, I'll wait for most of you who have done all the uploads already before I proceed next. <clears throat> done. Awesome. Okay, all good for me to go. Okay, uh. okay, now, typically, when we are doing B tour creation, we will upload our raw files and we will straight away create the new tour, right? So I will proceed to create a new tour. So I will go to this option here, add new B tour. So all of you should actually come to this screen right now. Or something similar if you're using a mobile device. So what we want to do now is to create a new VTour. So we want to select the pictures to be used for the VTour. All right, so remember the, so I'll go to add panel for, for a moment now, okay? So we will need to select what are the pictures we like to include in the VTour. So if you see, because I have done a lot of uh, B tours, so I have actually many pictures. Some of the pictures are actually not related to the apartment that I have, that we are going to do now. You see, so you need to know uh, which are the pictures that we are going to put up. Okay, so because of the timestamp, this set of panels are uploaded today. You see the timestamp. 28th of May, uh, 2021. Don't look at the time. Lah, huh? So this is the whole set that I have taken because the last set that I did was a couple of days back. So what I need to do is just to select panel set 15. For mine is panel set 15. For your maybe panel set something else. Okay. So it automatically selects the few pictures that I need to create the V-Tour. All right. In the event that you are actually creating more than one B tour uh, each day, meaning you are uploading different different sets of panels, uh, for to create the B tour for the different houses, then you need to be very careful in your selection. So that in that case, you need to first of all familiarize with how each house looks like in terms of the pictures that you are uploaded such that you don't select wrongly. 
All right. So after I have selected the raw files that I want to use for this V tour, I will click on OK. After I click on OK, they will come to this screen. I hope every one of you are with me now. Okay, because of the order of arrangements that I have uh, uh, earlier put in for the file names by labeling them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then my 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 so called uh, when we comes to setting the relationship, it becomes easier. You can see that these are the raw files that I have uh, taken. This is the whole V three sixty that they have flattened out. Okay, so this is a uh, panel 160 for your information. This is a uh, at number one. Okay, this picture is at number one. Whereas the next picture that we are seeing here, it's quite obvious that this uh, is the kitchen. Right now, this is quite obvious. This is a kitchen, so this is my point number two. All right, I'm running through to familiarize the big individual pictures first. Okay, next will be are you seeing the screen again? Okay, next will be this. Give me a second. Huh? Are you all seeing two screens now? Can you all see both? Trying out a new feature. Overlap. Overlapping. What do you mean overlap? Your panel, your panel is overlapping your PowerPoint. Now? Now one picture. Now is panel overlapping. Yeah. Okay. Can. Thank you. Okay. So what you can see now is uh two pictures just now. Point number one and point number two. If I go to the next picture panel one six two. Now we see this picture looks like my living room and dining room, right? You see the TV here. You see the dining set. You see the sofa. So this is basically my. Point number three, all right? And then what is uh, panel 163? Now this one looks like the balcony because of the outdoor area. So this is my point number four, all right? So on and so forth. Huh? So I will just quickly run through again but all the different panels. 164 is Nearing towards the bedroom walkway. 165 is bathroom, common bathroom. 166 is the common bedroom. Okay, remember uh, this is common bedroom, it's with the green wall. 167 is the master bedroom. And last but not least, 168 is the master bathroom. So we roughly know uh, the how the each uh, room or the living room, all these things looks like. Now we can start to link up the picture. Okay, this is actually essential that before you stitch up the, the virtual tour, you most of the time you should be aware of how the house looks like before you do the stitching, such that you will be able to link up how to actually link up individual pictures uh, for the virtual tour. So now I'm having the first two pictures. First picture is the entrance, second picture is the kitchen area. So 
the logic now is that I want to tell buyers if I want to go into the from the first point where I'm standing, I want to go into the kitchen. So I need to uh, touch the point whereby at the kitchen entrance, whereby I do a one click. You saw the number one there? All of you saw the number one there on my screen? So by touching number one from the, by, by, by from the first picture, I touch number one point, I will go into a kitchen. So now that I have touched really, imagine that I am now inside the kitchen. I want to go back out into the living room. I need to touch on the exit through the kitchen, right? So I click once. You can see now I have two one. One, the first one on my top picture and the one in my bottom picture. So far, all can see, yeah? So next, my kitchen, that's all right. I don't have any more pictures that is further into the kitchen. So I want to now move on to my living, living room. So remember where I roughly placed my camera just now in my living room? It's somewhere uh, in between the, the, living and, the living area and the dining area, right? So when I point to, when I want to move forward inside the virtual tour, I need to point towards the direction. So I point and touch that direction. You see that my number two came out. All right. Similarly, when I am standing at my position number two, the living and dining area, if I want to walk back to my entrance, I link up with my entrance on the bottom picture. You see that number two already. Correct. Right. So far, so good, huh? Now, I think my picture one is already done. I don't have any more links to anywhere else. The important part now is my picture two that I want to link to my balcony and my bedroom, right? So this will be my base picture. I am going to panel 163. Remember panel 163 was my balcony. Oh. So now you see, now I want to go out to balcony. I can actually open the door, meaning I put my point over. I click here to, to click my point that I'm going out to the balcony. My number three comes out. And then when I'm out in my balcony, I want to go back into my living room. I need to open the door. So I tap on the door. You see both trees comes out already. All right. So I finished looking, my, looking at my balcony. I want to move into the bedrooms now. So I go to my next panel before I link. So when I move in, you can see uh, this, this way my cursor is where the bedroom is. And then this is on my top picture. I can see the living area and then I can see three door here. So this is my common room door, my master room door and my common bathroom door. Correct. So I will want to hit from the bottom picture. I want to hit in to my bedroom area, I click one more point here. Number four comes out. I want to head back to my living area on the top, on my top photo, meaning when I'm standing right nearby the bedrooms, I want to go back, I click back here. So two fours are out already. So far, so good. Uh, so what you mean is that I don't need to go to the source image and the destination image. Uh, again, I, I, I don't quite capture what you say. Okay, you see your screen, uh, your panel. Mm. They have a, uh, on top of the thing, they, they put down there, like the source image. Mm -hmm. On top, all the way. Uh, source okay, image. I can crisscross. I can crisscross. No I don't problem. Need to, uh, no problem one. Okay. I can crisscross. Okay, so now my destination image seems to be not going anywhere already ma. because my next uh, interest is I want to go in to see the bedrooms right so now this this picture is 164 the next picture will be 165 right so this is the common bathroom so common bathroom based on the floor plan of what we have seen itself is actually the door on the left this one right so I will 
click on the door. See, number five came out. So in order to get out of the bathroom, I need to get out of the door. So I click on the door. So both five are out already. So far, so good. Huh? So after coming out of the toilet, where do I go next? I want to go into my common room. My common room is on the right-hand side. So I go into my common room. I go out of my common room for the second for the bottom picture. Sorry, Gerald, can you stop for a while? Can. Number five, uh, the, the bottom picture, could you repeat that? Can you show the picture again? Uh, just give me a second, uh, let me follow through. Okay, I'm done. Number six, uh, okay. So six also done because I am at the common room. I want to go out of the common room now. And then I want to go into my master. Master is the center door. Correct? On the top picture. So I go into my master. So for this picture now, because master bedroom usually more tricky because they have an attached bathroom, right? So chances are you will see two, two doors inside the master bedroom. So you need to identify which is the door to go out and which is the door to go into your bathroom. If not, you click on the wrong door, you, you get a surprise when you're inside the virtual tour. Understand where I'm coming from? So this is naturally the door to go out to the living dining area. All right, so my two sevens are there already. So my last position that I need to go into is my master bathroom which is this door over here. Same thing, I want to go out. I need to go out through the door, so I click here. Okay, so essentially, the whole virtual tour, all the links over here, you can see the links that we created is already completed. Oh, of course, for the for apartments or houses or units that has more uh, doors, more rooms, more levels, uh, there will be a lot more interactions here. That is where all the confusion will actually come in. Sorry, and, Gerald, can, can I see number eight again, both? Uh, give me a second, uh, let me follow through. Camera, camera, camera. Bye, Sejero. Mm. I try to because I try to follow uh, number five. When I try to click, they say uh, the source is not available, and then I try to show, show, and I think from there you went on five, seven, six, seven, five, seven, six, eight, really. <laughs> Okay, meaning you miss out mean, one point, huh? Uh, from five, five. Point five. Point Where, five city total. Oh, common bathroom. Uh, okay, I, I saw this picture, the, the source. My picture source is uh, five. One, six, yeah, five. Uh, one, six, five. Five is, I click the five already. Uh, this one. The below one, six, four, I have already. Number five. Mm. Okay, but then the five is all, oh, the, the, the toilet is on the door. Ah. Uh. Okay, okay, wait a uh, door. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, okay. 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 Common room is at one six six. Okay, so we should be is is in ah room. Is it under the door or is it first 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 link? That is in the outside. There is no ah uh, no no rule on which picture we click first. As long as we know that we need to pair up six with six. Oh, okay, okay. So you can always click the top picture first, or you can click the bottom picture first. Okay, but okay. But it will be uh, to me. 
it will be easier to click the bottom picture first because we are at that position. We want to go to that room. So easier oh. for us to do the matching. Okay. So six, go, go click the outside door first. Lah. Mm. Okay, then go to the room. Okay. Room two. Okay. Uh, six. Okay. Now you go to submit the key. How? Wait. So after you're done with six, you go to one six seven, so you can go into the master bedroom. Okay. Seven is master bedroom. Master bedroom. Seven. So Jerry, it doesn't matter which one you click first, right? As long as they are the same doesn't number. Matter. Oh. Mm, doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Which means number eight is so your age number eight is linked to the toilet, is it? Yes. Eight linked is to the, the last toilet. picture. Ah. The door. Okay. Done. Yes, I oh. Yes, I. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, good to go. So all link up. Naturally, the next thing that we want to do is to preview. So we click on the preview. Then we preview is something like that. Lah. So we need to give our virtual tour a name, right? So I call it tutorial. Lah, huh? Okay. So which okay, then this one is the starting panel. Which view do you want to go first? Of course, whenever we start a pet a virtual tour, we always at the entrance, right? All right, yeah. so I always start with my first picture, which is panel 160 under my side over here. Okay, Okay. then I go to publish now. Publish I think now. I'll publish now. Huh? Okay. Then I go to generate B tour now. Another wait for maybe about 30 seconds, one minute like that. So far, so far, following. Busy. Can I follow your, your sequence. Sarah, can you uh, go with previous D one before one the published one? Is it the part? Huh? You repeat again the, the before this one. This one, huh? After you set all the link, there's actually a button below, right? For you to so call the to preview, right? So after you click on preview. You'll come to this screen. Ah, now my, my generate my generation is done already. Okay, I gave my my tu my my V2 a name called tutorial, right? Then Sorry, I want... Sorry yes. there. what's the difference of uh, publish and don't publish? Actually, I don't know, but I always publish because at any point of time, even if I do wrongly, I can edit. Ah no different now, even. We no difference. I, I don't see any difference because no one will know that you have created this V two other other than Lester's back end uh, IT side. Your customer will not know. Your seller will not know. Your buyer will not know. No one else will know. So that right, fully to share the 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 tutorial we are published is actually inside our own so called link. Is it something like that? Yes. So uh, so now that you have done the publish, uh, it comes to this. It comes to this screen. I think everyone should be the same. So that means your virtual tour is ready for viewing. Okay, so whatever that we do, we all, before we send out to our buyers, to our sellers, whoever, we always view first. So once we view ready, you see the screen now? Can you all see the screen on my screen now? I will see. Yes. Huh? You all should also be able to see on your own screen. Now I have a 360 ready. Yep. Welcome, Sweet. Cobra. Huh? 
Rock Hang Co broke one point one five million for this house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I want to enter the kitchen. Remember, just now I point to the kitchen. You yep. see my blinking yellow yellow spot spot. I go. I click on my blinking yellow. I go in already. It's a rubbish bin there. You see my kitchen area. Already okay, good. My first point is great. I go out now to my first point. So I want to move into the house, right? So I click on the blinking yellow spot again. I move in. So I'm inside to in the living and dining area now. So you can see the few spots that just now we were clicking on, right? Remember. First point, uh -huh. back to the entrance. This one is to the bedroom. And this one is to the balcony. Uh -huh. Remember, right? We set, yep. set up these three points. So now we go to the balcony. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unblock view. Oh, allow it. Type by early. Okay, so now this is the balcony view. Bow boy, yeah. Yourself. Uh, okay, so this is the balcony view. So good. We go back in. Now we are going into the bedroom, right? So now we are at the entrance to the bedroom area, remember? So we look out. So this was where we were just now, this location. So if you want to go back, we click back there, right? Now we want to go into the bedroom. So we want to, just now we say, first one is the com, uh, common bathroom, second one is the uh, common bedroom, and the third one is the master. Can we go straight into the master now? Can, uh, we can point to the master and go into the master now. So now we are inside the master bedroom. Remember just now I say two door. If you click on the wrong door, now you are supposed to go out from here. But if you <laughs> click this door, go into the master bathroom, then that's, that means you did the pointing wrong already. So we go into the master bathroom, this door. Huh? Can see my camera. Mm. Oh. So I want to go out now. I go out now. So I want to go back out. Can I? So you see. Even not only 360 left, right, uh, we can say 360 up, down also. Oh, Sang Mian Tao Xia Mian Tao Kanda Tao. See on the floor, I can see. So the main difference, uh, I just want to highlight if you're inting, intending to invest in buying a camera and the lollipop stand or the tripod stand, my advice is to buy a lollipop stand. Why? The main reason lies over here. This thing here. Lollipop stand is very slim and narrow. So they will block out using our logo. But if it's you're using a tripod stand, remember tripod stand, you got the additional handle outside there to do the adjustment of the angle of what you're shooting. That thing there is actually very bulky. So it will actually expose outside this AAG uh, logo tour here. It will look more ugly if you are looking down. But if you are looking normal straight, you won't see that thing. Understand? Okay. So I'm not sure if every one of you managed to get this uh, virtual tour right out. Okay, uh... But if you have not, uh, I think you need to continue practicing later on. Any questions, we will, we will run through again. 
I want to show you one thing about why I say about the, the tripod and the lollipop difference. Uh, maybe I can see, see this one. See just now, this is using a, this is using my, my tripod earlier, you see? This thing here. Dwaling Gong, Jia Jim. Or just a dustbin there. Oh, it's one, one big, one big ugly thing here like, when you're looking down. Oh, so I invested $15 in the lollipop just about three weeks back. So my, my latest tour for the, for this, tuto this uh, tutorial, this water funky, I was shot using the lollipop, you see? Quite a lot. Oh, so that, that is the main difference. So now that every one of you have uh, assumed that every one of you have gotten the the uh, B tour done up already, huh? Now next thing is we want to share. We want to share the link. We want to share into our property guru listing. You see this button here? Share. Just click on share. This is a direct link. A direct uh, HTML link or URL link that uh, you can actually send out to your buyers, your clients, or your sellers. Okay, this is the QR code. Same thing, you can scan and then you can go and visit this virtual tour. This part here is the embedding code for the property sites that requires, if let's say they allow you to put V tour, they, they require you to embed the code. So this is the iframe code. Okay, example. So we are at our property guru listings page, right? So you see this, uh, we have photo, video, virtual tour, and floor plan, right? So if you want to put into our virtual tour, you click on virtual tour. You can see I have not uploaded this uh, virtual tour into my listings. Huh? Okay, so I want to, now I want to put the virtual tour into my property guru listing. So I copy this code, this, this bracket, iframe, SRC, blah, 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 all the way until here. I copy this part. I put into the embedding session, uh, the right rectangle right here. Then I put embed. Then your virtual tour will be out there. To verify, we go to our listing. Okay. So this is the list how the listing will look like. Now I go into my virtual tour on the property Google listing. Of course the res resolution sucks. Like that. You don't really see a clear one. That's why I never put it to my property Google listing. But if you want to, you can do so. Because if you realize when you are searching for property Google listings, uh, let's say you're going for water, water fund key. So that is where you they indicated on the on this on this section that you have actually the virtual tour plus the live tour or, or available. So this one you can see the next listing is only the pictures. We have the floor plan and the live tour. 
So the difference is actually they indicate. So it may actually uh, attract more buyers to view your listings because of you have all these things that is uh, put up on the listing. So far, so good. Um, Gerald, just check. Uh, your, the, the virtual tour that you created, right? I have seen some of them actually have uh, like they indicate the master room, you know, instead of one, two, three, it's just how we do, right? Uh, the link, right? But yes. they put a master room. So the, the actually the place, the, the, when they click in, they, they return a master room. Yes. That one is for the uh, external vendor version. For uh, our internal, for AAG one, we don't have. That is uh, the limitations. Bien Louis A, my Hiam. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, but it is actually quite straightforward because why? Uh, how I engage using virtual tour is not, I do not send out freely to clients because when clients do not know how to navigate the virtual tour, they are just going to be using the browsing attitude, meaning they only browse. Correct. Right, uh? So yeah. can they see or can they cannot see the things that you want them to see, you will not be able to uh, share with them. So whenever I do virtual tour, I will always want to do a Zoom session like this. And then I will share with the buyer the virtual tour. Because when I share with the buyer the virtual tour, it is almost like I am walking with them through the house physically, sharing with them the things that I want them to see. Like the high ceiling, the nice renovations, especially pointing out certain features of the house that I want them to see in order to induce them to say, okay, I want a physical view. I really like this house. When I go to physical, I only want to validate certain things. Because if they are not keen, they will not want to come and see. Ma. They will really run through the virtual tour with you. Correct? No? Yeah. Uh, so that means when they, after seeing the virtual tour, you run through the virtual tour with them uh, through Zoom and they still want to see means, this buyer, when they go for the for the physical viewing, they are likely going to uh, high chance to make an offer. All right, now. But okay. if you actually put up everything onto a property guru listings and all, you just send it out. You may not know whether are they really keen or not, or do they really see or not, or they they just anyhow see them, they pass already. They don't want not interested or whatever. Or they ne they maybe they ne have never even see the virtual tour. They just say, okay, I want to view. Because they never see, they just want to view the house. Some buyers are like that. All right. Now. Also, you don't actually showcase everything. So you always cover, leave your selling points in your pocket and all those things, and then you bring it out when you're sharing, when you're doing this the presentation to buyers. So this is how we actually use the virtual tour. We don't just put it out. But if we don't have virtual tour, we will not be able to qualify buyers. And especially during this period of time where we cannot have so many viewings, we won't be able to still continue to, to do the showing. Gerald, what's the difference uh, between uh, just now the embedded video, embedded uh, 360, right? Mm. Uh, I mean, in, in Property Guru, uh, there's also one at virtual tour that you drag and drop. What's the yeah. difference between these two? Uh? I have not tried that one. That one is very likely the organic video file of the virtual tour. I, I don't think there is anyone who is doing the whole... Because uh, it's a, virtual tour is a very interactive tool. Meaning when the buyer wants to move here, move there, then you'll be able to move. You cannot have a fixed file there. So I don't think that function actually works when you actually put, drop and drop the, the organic file. I don't think that one works. That one is more for video. Okay, got it. Also, I think just now I, our video, the virtual tour, we missed out one which is actually uh, flowing the floor plan uh, moving, right? This one also we don't have, right? This one, no. This one, we, we don't have the floor plan. Uh, we, we, don't, we won't be able to showcase the floor plan itself on the virtual tour. And that is, that's why it is actually very critical to set up the, <clears throat> the Zoom viewing 
Zoom session with your buyers. Um, if you have a floor plan of the house, you orientate them the floor plan first. Oh, okay. I mean, you you did do what I do like just now. I toggle between the floor plan and the actual, actual picture. Uh -huh. To show them where we are going, how the layout of the house looks like before we actually move into the actual virtual tour itself. Okay. Are we able to show side by side? Uh, can under your zoom zoom sharing options you can actually play around with that. Uh, okay, I think then then this at the if not very difficult. Voila, toggle between different screens only ma. Oh. 多动一点点手指而已。僵硬了，老了。哦，OK。So, <笑> so, uh, with that, uh, this is what I have to share. So the for the next forty-five minutes, we are ahead of uh ahead of the schedule by forty-five minutes. If you all have any questions, you need more practice while I am online. Please carry on. Uh, for those who don't have any questions, who wants to make a move first. Uh, please uh, make a you can take a leave no problem so I'll be around until the last one last one standing uh. Uh, Jared, Jared. Mm. okay this video once is uh, done uh, this week tour where does it store is it in, inside this account okay good question wait uh. so okay everyone of you try to log out again of this uh, v2 account can lock out or not? Cannot lock out, right? Can lock out, can lock out. I just now gonna block my so now I lock out already. Everyone see my screen, right? I log back in again. We'll go back here. That's under the V2 management. We are immediately in the V2 management. You see, my my V2 is here. Oh, okay. All the past V2 that I have done are all here. So in the event that uh some of the units already sold or whatever, you want to actually delete them because we cannot forever add on more and more V2s in. There is a quota limit for every individual. On how many tools you can have, how many panels you have can have. If your quota is full already, you you will realize you actually cannot upload, you cannot create more virtual tour. Or sometimes Lester's PA Hui Ting will call you up, hey, Jerry, you can delete your share with the V tour, ma. Understand? Okay. Also keep it updated. So if you want to delete, simple. I just need to click the select the V tour that I want to delete, and then I just click on delete. So can is you it? save on some other area, some other place? Again, right sorry. L, uh, can we can you store it in the LDA one of the uh, cannot can cannot because if you, you see just now I say our face is here. So if you are doing a presentation, of course as LDA, uh we we of course we can we can uh, say oh this one is my partner and all those things what i'm trying to say if let's say it's uh uh not a lda listing if you are you and your partner are sharing for your own branding purposes is it good to actually use another agent's face when you're showing a v tour and that is the reason why you need to create your own v tour in order to have your face here and that is one of the main reasons why I ask yourself, ask Chua, ask Jalin, ask Agnew and Claire to come in again to, to actually learn how to create that V-Tour so that you can leverage on our LDA listings whereby those listings that we have already done the 360 raw files you can create your own V-Tour. I look at her and then like when I scroll down, our, I scroll down. Our personal uh, photo will be there when you create uh, any yes. all these V-Tour. Like. Yes. Correct. So as and when necessary for resale listings, especially if you know that you need well enough, you don't need to ask IC for permission to show ma. You can show with your buyer, show to your buyer as well, ma. Directly with your private private showing arrangement. Correct. Or not? 
because don't need to make a appointment with seller. Hey, seller, can I can I show your house through virtual tour? <laughs> Cannot. You don't need to make the appointment, man. All right. Okay. Oh, so uh, yeah, that's about it. And then okay, in the event that just now, if we make a mistake when we are setting up the different different pointers, right? This button here, edit allows you to restart reset the will do the relationship amendments understand I go back huh? under v2 management these are all our existing tax and tdc thingy huh huh Oh, so we are at V2 management. So if you have done wrongly, we can go and edit, edit button. If you want to view, we can do the view button on ourselves. And then we want to share, we can do the share. Understand everyone? Good. Hey, Gerald, one question. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I see that you actually just now got mentioned that the, the panels and all that, right? Mm. Uh, how many pictures or what's the limitation? Uh? I don't remember how many pictures maximum that we can do. Uh, and I can't recall how many links that we can do. If I am not wrong, maximum number of so-called relationship we can set is 20. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's 20. So too big a house, also difficult. So you cannot every toilet also take, every room also take. Uh, yeah, that's why I was thinking less than that. Yeah. Uh, so for apartments, it's easier for you to actually plan plan a sui sui virtual tour because of the position of your camera. But for a landed house, unfortunately, because of the limitations, some of the virtual tour that we take cannot really showcase the house very well because we have to one one virtual like for me those apartments with eight or ten rooms right, and all attached right. <laughs> you see, just take the rooms and the attached bathroom are already not enough already. So I have yeah. to go to that room itself i have to take a v360 put place my camera like for example this is the bathroom this is the actual room i place my camera here outside the toilet door then after wow. that then i can showcase my room and also my show showcase my toilet okay ah. so idea this, this is the limitation we face for the this so-called free uh AAG virtual tour lah. but as i've said free one my yam my yam basic complaint also. <laughs> basic complaint. You're right. <laughs> uh, so, so we just make use of whatever that we have, then we then we show up. Again, I say uh uh this is actually uh to be used more towards one-to-one -one sharing session or one-to-many sharing session, personal touch. You still need to have your personal touch when you're showing the virtual tour. Otherwise, it is just uh, as good as a normal picture and things like that. Because if you will leave it alone for them to try and scroll through, it defeats the purpose. It's the agent that make the things perfect. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can, uh, Claire? Can I? Okay. Anything good? I will need to practice. Yes. Trust sure. me, after today, if you still don't practice, you will not get it. One. Jira, I have a question. Uh. Mm. Uh, say you want you don't want people to spot this unit, right? You want to mm. cover up or mask those uh, windows and doors. Is it possible to do it? Okay, this one is a little bit advanced already. <laughs> <laughs> so you, if you don't want people to spot it, then they don't do this, is it? Yes. Okay. The typical ones that I face, for example, I do a did a landed uh, uh, They don't want me to showcase the car plate number. So you see, when I'm now at the panels management now, the first one before when I was uploading all the panel files, right? You see, this all these are the individual panel pictures. Correct. Uh? Oh, so you see this section here called touch up. So
So if you want to touch up the picture, go to touch up. They will bring you to an external site. Okay, of course, I choose the free one. Ah. So I think this both, both of these are free. So I will launch this part. Then I will, uh, how do I put it? I will take my original file. Hey, no. I can't recall already. Wait, ah. open image. Yeah, I need to create the original file. So that is, let's say, just okay. Let's 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 samura. Let's let's move back to earlier on. For example, let's uh say we go to. I want to touch up the uh, master bathroom, okay? Something more relevant, everyone can see. So I, I put in my master bathroom picture when I come to here. I use my, I try that, I'll try it. I don't know whether I can. So they load my picture already. So over here, you can see, uh, this is my second time using this. Uh. You can see you have some options to say add element. You want to add image. This add image is for you to maybe add one bathtub here if you have the bathtub image. But if I just want to blank go out, uh, let me see where I can go. I can draw. I can use like this color. I want to use a pen or a brush. Now I use a brush. I draw one face here. Okay, save. I save as JPEG. File name is the same, number nine. Okay, I, I save back into my file. Huh? So if knife master bedroom edit, huh? close. I go back to my to my B tour. I upload the new picture. Oh, where's my where's my latest picture? Ah, here. This is my desktop. So I upload my latest picture. Go to my V tour management. I edit my V tour. I need to upload, remember I need to upload the new panel that I edited. So this was the picture that I edited just now, right? You can see the circle that I draw, I add in. For those uh, so-called cannot catch, this one don't catch is okay. Uh. This is additional info only. Yeah. So I want to set relationships. Let's say I want to use that one instead. Oh no, I need to redo everything. Okay, never mind. Let's start from the front again. Huh? I'll recap for the benefit of those who needs to catch up. So this okay, file, I'll be, yes. Uh, we can actually add, edit first everything before we upload the picture into the Yes, slide. correct, correct. Okay. okay, I just want you all to see the difference. Okay, uh, I do a quick one. I will not be explaining too much when I'm setting the relationship for this, this time round. Okay.
So I'm using the, the last picture that I've edited. 168 was the original one, so I leave it aside. Okay, see, done already. Let's go quickly to the bathroom that we wanted to see the difference. You see? The circle that I draw. So you can edit some of all those things. Understand? But let's say just now I, I was saying about the importance of setting the right uh, relationship, right? So imagine if I tell Juan, this one, then uh, 167, 166, 165, See, I don't have number seven already. Uh. Now I go into my master bedroom. I go into my if I click wrong side, uh, let's say, uh, then uh, 169, okay, do 168. Uh. Then I want to go into the toilet, uh, click like that. Uh. So imagine if you set the wrong relationship, and then if you're running through with your buyer without checking your relationship, the, the virtual relationship, you, you will, during your one-on-one -on -one session, you say oh, we are going into the the master bedroom. In, instead, it becomes the master bathroom. So it becomes a a, a problem, lah. Ready? Oh, inside, ah. So I say I want to go into the bathroom, ah. Hey, I come out. <laughs> you see the you see the you see the thing that when you set the wrong relationship. So it's very critical for you all to actually check everything before you actually uh, send out to anyone. Okay, uh for those who are using mobile phones, uh the advantage of uh using mobile phone to create a virtual tour is basically that uh if you actually have all the equipments with you to take the virtual 360 pictures, right? When you meet the owner and you immediately took all the pictures, if you uh, you immediately download all the 360 degree files onto your mobile phone, less than 15 minutes after you meet the owner and you leave the, leave the appointment, right? 
your V tool can actually be sent out to the owner. Correct. Right, and then as owner today, if your owner you're selling your property or renting your property, less than 15 minutes, the virtual tour can be done. I saw that I already have a virtual tour done. Would you be impressed with the agent? Get what I'm trying to say? So if if today to buy the uh, 360 camera is less than $200, but you are able to actually generate more than 15 virtual tour. And the virtual tour will be hosted on AAG's engine for as long as Lester allow us to, to host, to, to keep the virtual tour up there. If you have not met your quota, do you think it's actually worthwhile to consider? For your own business perspective, lah, huh? Okay. So I am good now. I am all done for today. So if you let's say you need more practice, you need me to run through to run through with you on Zoom for the next 30 minutes. I am available to wait out for you to practice. Otherwise, if you all want to leave, uh, and then uh in future, if you have any questions, of course you can come and check check back with me again. Uh, but then I doubt. The, the 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 how do I put it the 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 help that I can give you will be as as uh easy to explain through Zoom because through phone is definitely more difficult to do the explanation if you know where I'm trying to drive at and also provided that I'm also available to run through with all of you lah, the the questions that you all may have oh so again highlight uh you need to keep on practicing. Oh, Claire, correct or not? Yeah, thank you, Gerald. Really, okay. really appreciate that. So uh, if there's nothing else, you all want to leave, uh, just mm -hmm. simply just as it. Lah. That's all for today. Come, thank, you. thank you. Okay, thank you, bye. Thank you. Why you still need help? Alan is boy. Okay, Okay. Oh, anyway, uh, I will upload. I have recorded this session. I will upload onto YouTube as well. So if you need to uh, refresh without me, you can just go through the YouTube that I have uploaded. Then after that, see how it goes on, if it helps out. Okay. Okay.